After decades of bureaucracy and red tape, the city is moving to make it easier for street vendors to obtain licenses and permits. And New Swells Carmen Grant spoke with a local street merchant who has been waiting several years to legalize her street business. Exactly what I sell. Alicia Gonzalez sells jewelry on the streets of the Bronx. She wants to obtain a general license from the city to sell her merchandise legally. But for the past five years, she says she's been unable to do so. It's no general license. At all. This week, the mayor's office announced new citywide recommendations to help modernize and reform regulations for street vendors. The proposed change will help reduce years of bureaucratic red tape that advocates say deterred some street merchants from operating legally. We need opportunity to, to show what we are. Brooklynite Maria Falcone, who has a license but not a permit to sell food, recently made headlines after she was carted away in handcuffs by officers in April. The Street Vendor Project and Advocacy Group says permits for mobile food vendors have remained capped for the past 40 years, making it virtually impossible to get one. The group says vendors, many of them immigrants and single mothers, work in fear. You're just constantly looking over your shoulder, right? You're constantly looking to see if there's an enforcement agent who's going to come up and close you down for the day or who's going to give you a thousand dollar fine because they can do so. Gutierrez says about 12,000 New Yorkers are currently on the waiting list, with Brooklyn having the highest number of vendors seeking either a general license or a mobile food permit. Some of the recommendations that the city is now considering include doing away with fines and violations, creating a business support program for vendors, and making rules and regulations clearer to follow. A lot of these are great strong first steps and, and foundations to starting to modernize the street vending system. Meanwhile, Gonzalez hopes to one day get a general license to legalize her small street business, which she says supports her and her four children. Carmen Grant, News 12.